Welcome to Worship Living Hope, First Press Santa Paula. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today we've gathered to worship, to mix our faith, to mix our praise as we enter into the presence of the living God. Before I pray, I have an announcement. Uh, this Tuesday, as in two days from now, uh, we are having a prayer meeting at 7 p.m. on Zoom. Um, please consider downloading the Zoom meeting application on your computer, laptop, or smartphone. Uh, and it'd be an awesome thing at 7 o'clock this Tuesday, as in uh, two days from now, to meet at 7 p.m. I'm going to start the meeting at 6.40 for those of you that are uh, new to Zoom because sometimes it takes a little bit to get dialed in. So um, I'll start around 6.40, but then at 7 p.m. we'll actually start praying. And people from First Prez, Santa Paula, people from Living Hope, be great to uh, see your face on the Zoom meeting app and we could lift up our prayers, praying for the world, praying for the nation, praying for our city families, church, loved ones, etc. Uh, let's pray. Heavenly Father, fill us with your Holy Spirit today. Jesus, we're so grateful that you lived, died, rose, and you live in our hearts. And Father, we thank you for today and all the good things that we have. Fill our minds. Speak to us today as we join together in worship. In Jesus' name, amen.
sin, my cross, my shame. Right again, I bless your name. You are my all in all. enter into a time of prayer um, as we think about our world, as we think about our city, as we think about our church. Let's pray together. Our Father God, we praise you and we thank you that you are alive, that you rose from the dead, that you ascended into heaven and your spirit lives in us and is alive today that in the midst of um, questions about re-entering into businesses, um, restaurants, all kinds of places of reopening, we pray for your wisdom, Lord. In James, it says, when we lack wisdom, we can come to you and ask for wisdom and you will give, her, give it generously. And so, Lord, we pray for your wisdom for those that are in leadership of our country, of our state, of our city, and the questions they have to engage in to make a decision when things can happen. Lord, we pray that our church would be able to reopen soon, that we would no longer be virtual, that that we would be alive together in one place at one time, worshiping you in our wonderful church sanctuary. Lord, we do lift up those leaders and we pray for them and the tireless, tirelessly job that they are doing. Um, we pray that you would guide and direct them. And Lord, we pray for the people that are still working hard on the front lines that are there to help people that are experiencing the coronavirus or Lord for people that that they are serving that have loved ones that have the virus Lord there are so many frontline workers out there and we thank you and we praise you for their willingness to serve to serve all of us that are in need and they will respond as quickly as they can when a need arises. So we praise you for those folks, Lord. And God, we thank you that our church keeps going. It doesn't stop. Even though we may be doing a lot of things virtually through the internet, through podcasts, through Facebook, through all those things. Thank you for technology that has been a blessing in this time. And we pray that you would 
use technology, continue to use it, use it while we're away from each other, that we might have a sense of even though we're miles apart, we are together as one in your body, through your spirit, as we worship you online. So Lord, we, we lift up um, our city to you. We give you praise for the drop-in center on Harvard. And Lord, we pray that you continue to bless that ministry with your touch of grace. We pray for those that are working to serve and to help those who are homeless, that are staying in the shelter, and they need it not only for shelter, but a place to live and, and exist without um, being exposed to the virus. So we pray for those folks, and we pray that you would bless them, Lord. Bless the workers and bless the people. Thank you for Kay's heart and her, her passion to serve and love those that are on the fringes and don't have the benefit of many things that we do. So Lord, bless them in their, in their ministry and bless those folks that are there. Lord, we, um, we pray for our whole county. We pray that the deaths from the coronavirus virus would decrease, that there would be less people dying, less people contracting the disease. And we pray the heat that we're having would work in a, a miraculous way to, to slow down um, the pain and the sorrow of the virus that exists in our society. We pray that you would um, that you would eradicate COVID and that we would be able to walk freely in this county again. God, we pray for our senior members and our senior friends that are homebound. I mean, all of us are homebound right now, Lord, but we pray for those folks that are homebound that when we are able to be together in the sanctuary, some people can't come. We pray your special touch upon them today as we work, worship um, through a podcast and through doing worship music and listening to the sermon of, of Ronnie and, and praying together that those folks would feel through your spirit a real touch of grace and connectedness to the body of Christ here. Lord, we lift up people who are dealing with health issues. And I mention their names, Lord, to you. You know their issues. You know them better than I. And so we lift them by name. Lord, we lift to you, Dot Payton, Kay and Shirley, Connie Bravo, and Bill Elder, John Kemp, and Bob Dudley and the ones that I haven't mentioned that are out there that need your touch of healing Lord, we pray Lord Jesus come as a great physician we pray in your name Jesus that you would bring healing and restoration to those folks who are struggling with illness and Lord lastly we lift up a group that sometimes we forget to pray for. That we wrote their names down on a card months ago and we put them in a box um, in front of our sanctuary and we said, we're going to pray for these folks all year long. And Lord, we pray that you would answer those requests of those folks whose names are in the box, the prayer box up in front. And we pray, Lord, that you would do a mighty work in their lives. Lord, we pray, even though we're miles apart, that you would continue to keep us close as First Press and Apollo. Keep us connected. Keep us united as your people. May you do that not only in our church, but in every church in this city 
in the county, that we might be a beacon, that we might be a source of hope, of light, and a, a source of faith that will encourage people to believe in you and to trust you with all that's happening around us. Lord, we pray this in the powerful name of Jesus, and we pray the way he taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not, Lord, into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and power, and glory forever. Amen. Worship your